Hi, welcome back to my another session on DevOps. In this session, we're going to learn about a topic called version control system, which is also called VCS in short. Before we get to know about VCS, let's first understand a scenario before version control system. Assume that you are one of the developers in a project and you have been given a module to develop, just like other developers. Now you have developed your module and well, your code is getting integrated with the other developers modules. It may or may not work because you have developed your module, keeping your requirement in mind and others also the same. In this scenario, you need to collaborate with other developers continuously for seamless code integration. Now the question is, how can this be possible? That is where the solution came into picture, which is version control system. Using this version control system, you can continuously collaborate with other developers and make sure your module code changes are in line with others at the time of development or code integration. Hence, with this, many of common integration issues will be resolved and a lot of time is saved, which will help us in meeting the project timeline, which has resolved few issues. Now, you know what is a version control system? Now, let's understand the different types of version control systems. The one is central version control system, and the second one is distributed version control system. Most of the companies or the industries uses distributed version control system, but let's first see what is the central version control system and its challenges. So that's the reason people have moved to distributed version control system. Now, what is central VCS? Central VCS has a central repository where the developers write the code and they push it onto the central repository in the form of versions. Complete code is being stored in the central version control system. The challenge with this is if the central version control system goes down, the developers who is developing this code may not be able to work or you know they cannot code or push it onto the central repository this is the biggest challenge with the central version control system and now with the distributed version control system this challenge has been resolved let's see how the distribution version control system has a central repository just like you have it in a central version control system and also the same repository is available on the developer's mission in the form of a local repository. Basically, this local repository is exactly the same repository what you see in the remote repository. Now, whenever a developer pushes his code, he or she would commit first to the local repository and then to the remote repository or a central repository. Though your remote repository is down in this case, the developer can still commit his code to the local repository and save it over there. Whenever my remote repository is up, I can push my code to the central or a remote repository. With this, it has resolved the challenge that we have faced in central version control system. Now that you understood distributed version control system and a central version control system. Let's see some tools which supports distributed version control system because most of the industries are using this rather than the central VCS. Here are some of the most popular tools in which we're going to learn about Git in detail in our coming up sessions. So stay tuned for my next session. That's all for this session. See you in my next video. Thank you.